swimming day. We love swimming day. So I have my little trusty props that we've been using all along. Today we'll use both. They're also optional. Let's put the ball between the legs and scoot towards the front of your chair. Then we'll take our band and we'll do a variation first of our swimming. So we'll reach up, we'll squeeze the ball and we'll take the band back behind us, lift it up and bring it down. We did this at the beginning of March Madness as well. You're in a nice tall spine. So we need to do like five of those. Then if your band, if you want to get a little more resistance on your band, you can go ahead and do that. The next variation we'll do is when you go back, and I'll come to the side here, it's a little awkward. Um, you were just in a tall back. When you come to here, take your arms about right here, add a little extension, and come back. Add a little extension, and come back. So the arms are either right above you, or maybe they're a little bit back, and you just do a little extension and a little flexion. And maybe we do five of those. Now, if that seems like, I'm not, if you're thinking like, I'm not sure if I connected right to that one, or I think I'm doing it wrong. One, if you're not in any pain, you're not doing it wrong. It doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, the next point is that you could just go back to swan and do swan. With the long pole, I have one on the ground. Otherwise, um, which was really nice, having the foam roller to kind of do some of that work, any of that extension work. So we're just doing this in pieces. So first, we're just kind of getting the arms to flow. Then we're getting our chest to kind of go back and forth a little bit. Then we're gonna dump this band off to the side. We'll still keep the ball here so that we can actively engage our lower body. But then we get to bring our arms up and try and stay as tall as you can and just swim the arms. And maybe you do like 10 each side. You're inhaling and exhaling, trying to stay tall. And what I want you to think about is when you were taking that band behind you and you felt strong between your shoulders and around your shoulder blades, that are those are the muscles I want you to see if you can feel when you're here. Like, ooh, how can I maybe bring my shoulders down a little bit and see if I can engage more muscles on my back? Isn't that fun? Yeah, I really love that one. Okay, then we'll just do a quick variation where we'll take one arm up and bring the other arm down, and then we'll switch. So nice big inhale for one, and exhale for the other. And you can do this in a straight back, or if you wanted to do just a little bit of extension, you could also do this in extension. But whatever body shape, whatever shape you pick and whatever position you pick for your upper body, I want you to stay that way. And maybe you just do five each side. So nice big swimming arms. And then you can kind of shake those out a little bit. And the legs, you know what you could repeat, which would be kind of fun if you want to do it in pieces. We just did this for sidekick. Maybe you bring this down here Bring your arms here, and maybe you lift and lower the legs. Lift and lower. You can also do any of the single leg work that we've done. Um, pretty much anything, just to kind of ignite those legs a little bit more. But we were being active with them. We were squeezing this ball as we were doing our upper body work. But uh, there you go. That's your swimming. A couple different options for swimming, which are really, really fun. Otherwise, go back to your swan and play around with that. And I hope you enjoyed this one.